Welcome or welcome back to our pod crew. The beach is better with dogs, I must say. <laughs> We are a couple with seven rescue dogs currently cruising the Bay Islands of Honduras. We've been in Nutilla for a month and a half and we love it. We've gone through the exploratory phase, then the little funk between novelty and settling in, and we've reached the point where we can go into town, wave at several familiar faces while going about our daily life. From the grocery store to Friday night sundowners, we've developed a rhythm. We've gotten so comfortable that it's time to go. But we're not going alone. We've become part of a little flotilla. As we've adjusted to life living on a sailboat over the past year and a half, the most challenging part has been being far from family and friends. We knew we would miss them, but what we hadn't fully understood was how even a quick coffee with a friend that makes you laugh or a Sunday barbecue with everyone and anyone that wanders in adds so much spice to life. When we were traveling and changing places every few days, it wasn't so obvious. It wasn't until we'd gone for months living in one spot. We'd been in Guatemala for six months. We had the boat on the hard. Morning, noon, and night, we were doing boat work and computer work. And it was just Jairo and I. And we realized we needed some new friends. We attended a couple of the social functions at our marina, but when we walked in, we just kind of felt like the new kid in the lunchroom. We were nervously scanning for a place to sit. We didn't know anyone. And maybe because we had each other, we often just sat down as a couple and didn't make much progress being social. Then one day that all changed when this social butterfly, beauty queen, mermaid, and badass sailor Joanne came into our lives. Cheese. She swooped us up in her social net and invited us to all the happenings. She introduced us to people, coordinated group dinners and outings, and together with her husband Bill, we have now really made some genuine friendships. And we've been included in their little flotilla. So we're now three, a trimaran, a catamaran, and us on our monohull. Now a group of us and the dogs are all going to the beach. We're bringing a pitcher of margaritas and four doggies. I can't touch. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> That's the whole place. Even the giraffe. I love you. I love you. So now we're here in Utila, and we've been on the lookout for a weather window to cross over to Roatan Island for the past week or two. It's a relatively short trip of 28 miles or 45 kilometers and we estimate it will take about four to five hours. However, the wind predominantly blows from the east, and so directly on the nose. Every once in a while, you'll get a westerly breeze, which would be ideal. But we were content to settle for anything other than uncomfortable seas. We finally got that weather window we were waiting for. The swells can get really wild, so we're hoping for something like three to four foot waves. 
and that will make it as easy on us, the pod crew, and the boat as possible. The day was sunny, and even though it started out a little rough out there, it was serious fun. Bye, Utila! We were all together in the cockpit, riding the waves up and down, looking out, hoping we would see dolphins or whales. Now we're in the islands, cruising, getting together with other sailors for beach parties, for afternoon floating, for yoga and buddy boating between the islands. And we've learned so much. Plus, they kept us out of real danger this time. This is way more daunting than I expected. Oh my gosh, these beautiful colors and everything, but it's so hard to tell where we should be aiming for. We can see the waves breaking there on those reefs. And then you've got these little channel markers here, which we're supposed to stay to the port side of. Our friends are coming out in their dinghy to help guide us in, and that's just something that's just so nice about cruisers and, and having friends. A nice passage five hours and coming to a brand new place we've never been before, and already seeing familiar boats and friendly faces coming towards us. As we made our approach into Roatan, there was some confusing information on Navionics. From what I understood, there was going to be a line of indicating buoys that we were supposed to keep as close to the boat as possible, but always to port. All I can say is I hope I would have gotten it right had I gotten up there and didn't have anyone helping us. I can't even say how thankful we are. Bill and Joanne and Paul from Chateau were waiting for us and knew that it was tricky to get in and knew that we are just beginners. So they came out in their dinghy to guide us in over this daunting stretch of water and coral. Not only that, but they spent quite a while helping us catch our first mooring ball and tying extra lines to it to make sure that we were safely connected and weren't going to get blown just the short distance to the reef behind us. He's coming for you, Rainy. Look at that, love. Then it was time to explore a whole new place. Look at this backdrop behind you guys as well. One of which we have very little information and expectations. Uh oh, here comes Pearl. Oh yeah, here comes Pearl. I gotta get in reverse right away. You can? Uh huh. You wanna go film three lobsters? Oh, sure. Yeah, I'm a cylinder. I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna.
The bay is super calm today. Ryo, you're staying with me, love. We can start all around here because um, there's so much heat. Look at us, this is amazing. The bill's gonna give the tour. So there's sea salt right there. We didn't have much food on board, so Hardo and I went just over to the beach in front of the boat and had a really nice dinner. The pasión. It was time to explore Roatan. We are on the west end. So we all got together and went over to walk around the town. We've got lots more adventures in store. Please remember to like and subscribe. It's free and it really helps our channel. And we'll see you next time. Big salty kisses from the pod crew. Thank you for being here.